He said, backsliding, it begins from the heart of a man. Consecration begins from the heart of a man. And he now said, whatsoever your heart goes after owns a part of you. And then he told me that these people do honor me with their mouths, but what? Their hearts is far from me. And when he told me that, I understood by the Holy Ghost that it is possible to honor God with your body, and yet God does not have your heart. I'm a virgin because of Jesus. I don't steal because of Jesus. It's possible to honor God in the body, yet your heart is far from God. Oh, have you not read what the Bible said? If I give myself to be born and I bestow my goods to the poor, and yet I do not have love, I have nothing. Jesus Christ. So you mean a man can give sacrificially without love? The highest form of sacrifice known in the realms of men is the sacrifice of blood. So a man can walk in the highest form of sacrifice known to man, which is giving your body to be killed for the sake of the kingdom of God. And yet the Bible says you can do all these things and do not have love. So I can come to church early, give the biggest seed, lead the prayer, lead the evangelism team. And when the mighty God whose eyes are pure looks into your heart, he will find out that you don't belong to him. And there's a word he used when he was speaking to me this morning. He said, whatsoever your heart goes after is something you should meditate upon. So the question now is, what does your heart go after? Your heart can go after a thing and yet your body is in one place. You see, what happens is that when your heart begins to go after certain things, that thing now has a stake in your reality. It has a place. It is this understanding that will make you fully comprehend what God meant when scripture says you shall serve the Lord your God with all. Are we together? All your heart. All. Not a portion of your heart. Meanwhile, that's what we've done for God. There's a, there's a portion. There's a 10% um, place for God there. But the rest 90 is me. That's why even in church, our heart cannot fully commit to God. So he's there. He's not seeing what the pastor wore. Oh, look at the LED screen. Ah, what is the crypto market saying? Oh, what is happening? You see, that thing is a collision of many kings in his heart. And guess what? That kind of heart, the Lord reject. Do you understand what the Bible means by a broken heart and a contrite spirit? A heart that has, because of God, broken the territories of other kings inside. Hey, because of your work with God, you've broken the territories, the stronghold of other things, and the, the things that were erected in your heart as security. You crumbled those powers, and it seems as though you are left with nothing. And then that brings your spirit to a place of humility. And in that place, if God does not help you, your sacrifice would have been in vain. That thing that you called your ambition, your goal, because of the excellence of Christ, you broke it down. And then it seems as though you are left without any defense. Say, the Lord doesn't turn away. The Lord will not leave you hanging. The Lord will not allow you to make that kind of sacrifice and then he leaves you hanging. That's a broken heart. That's a contrite spirit. A spirit that do not have any confidence in the flesh. Don't allow them to call you the great man of God. Every meeting I go to, I cry in my heart. I say, God help me. God help me. God help me. God help me. Because you can only do to the degree to which he's willing to do. That is if you want to operate in alignment with him. 